Tim from Hobby Co. And we have one beautiful little Hadron here. Um, Tim, what can you tell me about this beautiful little airplane? Well, uh, this was designed by my friend from R&D, uh, Miguel. And then I, I was the, uh, the test pilot, um, instruction manual writer and builder who was handed the project after, um, after, after original design. Uh, we cut a foam prototype in R&D and, and uh, I wasn't too much into foam models or, or small, small jets like that or anything, but uh, the, the first time we took out the uh, prototype and flew it, I pretty much fell in love with it right away. Um, couldn't figure out how to, how to get it to flat spin immediately. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, it was a great flying little jet, pretty fast, and uh, just a dream to launch and land, really easy to launch and land. Then we got my other friend, uh, Dan Landis, out, and he, he showed me how to flat spin it. And the Hadron, the unique thing about it is it's got vectoring thrust. Um, there's a separate servo that, that uh, vectors the uh, motor. And uh, when coupled with the rudder, uh, the thing does uh, crazy, ridiculous flat spins. Um, excuse my animation, but it flat spins like this. Like that fast. Um, it's ridiculous and it's juvenile, but it's a lot of fun. Um, so aside from the flat spins, you can, you can decouple the vectoring from the rudder in flight. If you have a computer radio, you can do that via a switch in your transmitter. And with the vectoring off in knife edge flight with uh, some elevator and aileron mix to it. And um, it's, uh, we, we've got it set up so you can fly it on 3S or 4S. On 3S, we go with a uh, 6x5 prop, it goes about 80. On 4S, with a 5x5 prop, it goes about 90. Um, which is a blazing speed, but it's plenty fast for most people. Um, and it just looks great in the air, and it's a blast and easy to fly. I'm thinking at 90 miles an hour, that's still gonna that's still gonna cover a lot of ground in a short. It covers a lot of ground, and it goes it goes vertical uh, pretty quick. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a it, it, it's just a jet for anybody. It's it's made out of our durable uh, aerocell foam, um, and uh, takes about. Well, it's going to take you longer to program the radio than it is to get the thing uh, uh, built out of the box. You just screw on the turtle, the plastic turtle deck, which has the uh, rudder already attached to it. And that's all there is to assembly, less, uh, less radio uh, setup. No glue required, even. Uh, no glue. It's also got a remo removable magnetic nose cone. And uh, we'll be including a spare one of those uh, with the kit. Comes with a... Uh, 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 metal geared servo for the vectoring and standard uh, uh, resin gear servos for the uh, rudder and uh, elevons. So essentially, you open the box and you've got everything everything ready to go fly an airplane. Yeah, I mean the ESC is mounted, the motor's mounted and hooked up, the servos are uh, mounted and hooked up. Again, it's just uh, connect your receiver, program your radio, uh, check the CG, uh, toss in a charged battery, and go. That is beautiful. And with the uh, two servos for the different servos for the vector thrust and the rudder, you can you can toggle it on and off. Yeah, um, it's it's set up mechanically so that if you if you don't have a uh, an, an additional mix on your radio, um, the uh, vectoring the rudder will be mixed. Up. You can you can mix those together via a Y harness in, in one single channel in the rudder channel. But if you do have a computer radio with with an available extra mix then you can turn the vectoring on and off in flight. So really, it, it, the only thing that you need is ele, uh, Elevon exactly, capability right. on your well, radio. The, well, and if you've got a radio as simple as like a Tactic 600, it's got an it's got Elevon mix in it. It doesn't have an, a separate available mix, but it's got Elevon mixing. So you do need that. Um, but if you've got a, a, a more advanced computer radio above and beyond that with extra mixing, then you can decouple them in flight. Uh, does this come in different flavors? Can you get a ready-to-fly version? Um, we're, this, we, we feel this is a slightly more advanced model, so we're not going to offer it with a transmitter. Therefore, it's going to be uh, RXR, that's receiver ready, and uh, probably um, a TXR version as well. Beautiful. And um, price availability on this one? Uh, availability, we're about two months out. This is this is a first uh, tooled, uh, this is a first sample made from uh, made from um, uh, tooling, and we, we've got some more evaluations to go and some, uh, some, some fine points to, to massage, and then we're looking at a, a final production sample, and then they're going to production. So that's about a month out, and then uh, it's about a month on the water, so probably two months out at the earliest. We're looking at around June probably for this. Beautiful, and what's the price on something like this? Price hasn't been determined yet. Um, that'll be announced um, when, the, when, the, when the plane is released, and probably about a month on that.
So the, the, the purpose of the removable nose cone, for example? Uh, you know, if you have a hard landing or a bad landing, the nose is the first thing that's going to hit, and it's just to keep it looking pretty. Um, if the nose cone gets damaged or broken, you can just take it off and, uh, and replace it with another one. I, fresh. I see the I see the value there. I've got more than one or two foamies <laughs> with uh, bent nose syndrome. Yeah, sure. There's uh, there's our 3S2200 battery. You can put a 4S in there. Plenty of room for battery uh, positioning to uh, adjust the CG. Yeah, it's got some carbon strips just for reinforcement. Um, some hand grips for launching, and some skids for landing and no, a no skid as well to keep the to keep the front end fresh. Well, that is one beautiful airplane, Tim. I wish you a lot of luck with it, and we'll see you out there soon. Thanks, Jim. We're going to be uh, flying a lot of these down at CEF um, at, the, uh, at the fun fly down there. Come and see them at CEF.